The role of 911 dispatchers is often overlooked when it comes to their involvement with traumatic life or death situations. Until this week, they were classified as office workers, leaving them without access to important mental health resources that emergency responders get. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live from the city's Office of Emergency Management with a look at the change and what it means. Megan. Right, Erica, it's an important step statewide before dispatchers were in the same category with administrative assistance and office workers. Now they're considered emergency responders, but critics argue there is still a lot more work to be done. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you still there? They're the voice on the end of the line. 911. On someone's worst day of their life. What does he have to serve your emergency? And sometimes it becomes a dispatcher's worst day, too. Shot in the head between the eyes. Both officers unresponsive in a hospital. You'll see. Keep the air clear. That's Keith Thornton's emotional voice. He's a former police 911 dispatcher with OEMC. Now he's a supervisor at a Chicagoland 911 dispatch center. He's been advocating for making dispatchers emergency responders for years because it would allow for greater access to mental health services. Having to hear nonstop uh, just a wreck uh, emergencies all day long. We all struggle with PTSD, mental illnesses, as well as depression that we go through. But he says the passage of Senate Bill 3127 that officially went into law this week was a surprise to him. It specifically makes emergency medical dispatchers first responders, but he says that doesn't cover everyone. It does not characterize the essential body of 911, which is police fire and EMS. It's not entirely clear in how it's written. Jen McGowan Tomke of the National Alliance on Mental Illness Chicago agrees that there needs to be some additional clarification about which dispatchers this refers to and discussions about exactly what services are now available. She points out that federally dispatchers are still in the category of administrative assistants and office clerks. McGowan Tomke and Thornton agree there still needs to be a nationwide change in the way dispatchers and their vital often traumatic jobs are viewed. They are first on the line, the first to hear about um, a situation that may be evolving and have the same, a, a very similar impacts, both related to the colleagues that they have and related to the experiences that they're hearing about one minute to the next to the next. We did reach out to OEMC to ask which employees this new law impacts and how exactly they go about accessing these new services. We're still waiting for answers. We will, of course, keep following up. Live at OEMC, Megan Hickey, CBS 2 Investigators.